Hi everybody, April Nienheis here. I'm going to take just a moment to show you how to use the templates that um, CM has provided for you for your signatures. Um, what we're going to do to start is we're going to start with the text area. I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to start with a name. For my example here, I'm going to use Jessica's pictures and information since I um, offered to help create hers for her. Um, we're going to start with the information text area. So I'm going to come over here to where it says info box and I'm just going to click the arrow down so I can see each, each layer of this area. I'm going to start with her name and the text tool. I'm going to type in her name right up here. We have that done. Next I'm going to come down here to the studio name or logo. You can obviously take your logo and drag it over and add it there. Um, what I'm going to do is just add her business name, which is her name with photography at the end. And we're done with that. Next we come to the university area, which is this layer right here. If you have a lot of workshops to add, you might want to turn off the logo. Um, I know that there are some people that the logo won't fit with how many workshops there are to add. To turn it off, you'll just click right here and it just removes it. Um, if you've taken a workshop, you just select the line and type in the workshop names. Just like that. Jessica has not taken any workshops, so I'm going to turn the whole section off just like that. Then we come down to any personal information you would like to go add, add to add goes here. Sorry about that. Um, you can add anything here. Um, mother to three wild and crazy kids, a uh, wife to a hunky husband. You can add, you can add anything here that you want to. I'm going to delete this top line and then I'm just going to add in Jessica's website URL. And that's it. That's all we've got there for the text. Um, I'm going to close this area since I'm finished with it. Next you have the option of um, adding photos to the signature. You can do one photo, two photos, or eight photos. For Jessica's, um, we're going to do two pictures and I have them loaded right here. I'm going to select my move tool and I'm just going to grab the picture and drag it over and drop it in. The picture of course is too big. We don't need to worry about cropping to a specific size beforehand or anything like that. I'm just going to shrink the picture. I'm going to go up to edit, transform, scale. If I were to, um, you can move the picture right here in the corners and the tops and everything. If I were to do this as is, it would completely distort the picture. What I need to do is keep the same ratio so that we don't have any distortion. So I'm going to hit the lock ratio aspect um, tool and then I'm just going to drag the picture down. The photo is not going to fit perfectly within the box and that is okay because we are going to fix that. I'm going to, after you do this, you need to hit enter. Then I'm going to drag the picture down here to where the first, where the gray box is. I'm going to right click and create clipping mask and see how that snapped that picture right back there. Um, and you can see the white trim where it's supposed to be. Then you can continue to adjust the picture as you want to. You can use the move tool or you can use your back and forth arrows if you'd like. Then I'm going to grab the other picture here and drag it over. Again, I'm going to adjust the picture. Move it up, hit enter. I'm going to drag it down here to where it belongs. Right click, clipping mask and then I can continue to adjust it as is. And that's all you have to do to create your signature. 
Um, one tip that I like to, I want to offer is, of course, you have to save it as a JPEG to upload it to the forums. I also like to save a PSD file of my sig my personal signature. This way, I don't have to use the original template every single time and re-add in my workshops, my website address, my name, all that stuff. If I save the PSD right now, when I open it back up, I'll have all that information and all I have to do is swap out the pictures, which makes it so much faster. Um, but basically from this point on, just save, save it as a JPEG and upload it to the forum and you've got your signature and that's it. Have fun in Photoshop.